After 5 weeks from the start of open beta, here we are with Oxygen OS 12.1 stable for OnePlus Nord. So without wishing any more for the time, let's get started. Firstly, to try this update, you can download it from the Oxygen Updater app or wait for the OTA. Until then, get some review from our community members. Just download and install the Oxygen Updater app and make sure you have selected the correct region and update method is set to stable full. Now download the update package. After downloading it, get to your phone settings, choose the local upgrade option and select the downloaded package and hit on install now. That's it, sit back and get ready to feel the colors of Oxygen OS 12. I'll be covering more about performance, gaming, battery drain and charging speeds in the review video so make sure you help us to cross 200 likes for this video and I'll be making a review video which will be out within 2 days. Talking about the features, now you can turn on both Wi-Fi and hotspot at the same time. This option wasn't enabled before. Now with Oxygen OS 12, you can do that. This option was present on most of the smartphones in the market. This privacy dashboard feature actually lets you know which app has used which sensor, camera, microphone, contacts, call logs, SMS, etc. This handy feature gives full control over privacy. Also, we get the option to turn on and off the camera and microphone access. If you just turn off the access, even system apps can't use camera or microphone. Isn't that amazing? Zing zing. Also, you'll get an alert if any app reads your clipboard data. You have an option of private space where you can hide all your files, images, photos, audios, etc. Now you'll get the one handed mode and the icon pull down gesture for the better one hand usage. Simply swipe up over the right or left part of the home screen to reach any of the app on the screen. Not only that, even one handed mode lets you use your phone more conveniently. And this looks similar to iOS. <laughs> Now we have the option of video color enhancer which converts SDR videos into HDR for better visual experience. Here we have the high performance mode which boosts the system performance and mostly useful while gaming. This also drains the battery faster and heats up the phone. The phone scores 607 in single core and 1753 in multi core in normal mode. Whereas in high performance mode, the phone scores 610 in single core and 1790 in multi core. Though it's a small difference, but okay. Last but not the least, we have the virtual RAM feature where you can use your phone's storage as the virtual RAM. And this can be expanded up to 7GB for the 256GB ROM variant. But 12GB of physical RAM is more than enough for this device. Now let's talk about the changes. Sadly, you won't like most of them. Firstly, the UI. The massive UI change which is now close to ColorOS. The app drawer comes with 4 into 4 layout. We can change it to 5 into 5 which was present in the Oxynos 11 by replacing the system launcher with realme launcher. I have shared the launcher APK in the telegram discussion group. Join a telegram discussion group for more tips and tricks for the OnePlus Nord. And also, you don't have an option to access the hidden apps from app drawer. You need to use phone application and I'll come to that point in a minute. We don't have OnePlus Scout in search option in app drawer. It is shifted to OnePlus Shelf which can be activated by swiping down from the top right corner. And to be honest, I don't use OnePlus Self. Now, I'll be missing the OnePlus Scout feature. Settings menu is now changed a bit. In OxygenOS 11 video, I have mentioned that it looks similar to One UI, but this time it's ColorOS. In OxygenOS 11, at least we had better one-handed use. Battery page from settings is changed and is better compared to the last one. Now you can track app's battery usage for any particular time and same goes for the storage page. Now screen color is changed so you have to recalibrate according to yours from the settings. To hide apps on OxygenOS 12, you need to set a passcode which has to start and end with hash and this has to be entered every time in the phone application to view the hidden apps. And once you press the home button and wish to open it from the reason, no, you can't. You actually need to enter this passcode again in the phone application. Many of the users didn't really like this feature. Now we have the all new work life balance and Zen mode 2.0, but most of them actually don't use these features, just some add ons. Now, face unlock or camera access animation around the fan camera is changed and some improvements in camera department. OnePlus gallery is changed to photos. And this is similar to Realme, but not buggy as old OnePlus gallery. You will be asked at the beginning itself whether you would like to view new photos at the bottom or top. You will get many video and photo editing options like eraser, etc. We have partial material theming based on wallpaper in Google Apps. 
After lashing one plus for the dark mode customizations, we have three different levels of dark mode. Enhanced for less battery drain. We also have the option of adaptive contrast for ambient lighting conditions. But I saw that there are some changes in true colors, so I have turned it off. We'll also get an option of flash on call. When turned on, flash will blink when you receive calls. You can set two different ringtones if you use two SIM cards. Now you can add face while screen recording, can take partial screenshots by long pressing the three fingers at a time and select the area. In settings, we'll also get the option of you might be looking for, which helps us to adapt to this new UI. We have redesigned files application as well as games. In games application, we have 4D vibration, voice changer and performance modes. In performance modes, we have three different options to switch between low power mode, balanced mode and pro gaming mode for better gaming experience. And rest all remains the same. These were the some of the changes. Now let's move on to the customizations. We'll have the inventive wallpapers option which was present in color OS. You can get the custom wallpaper from any photo. Basically, it has seven designs of wallpapers which are based on colors of the photo which we have chosen. We can customize app icons, their style, shape. Also, we can use custom icon packs. Also, we'll get the color wheel to choose main theme color. We also have the new fingerprint animations and my personal favorite, fireworks. Reminds me of Doctor Strange. We have Canvas 2.0 about which I have discussed in the video which I made long back in September 2021. And I have a shared video link in the description box below. Do check it out. We have the theme store for the first time in the OnePlus history. But sadly, no one really liked it. Also, some themes are paired and this would generate some revenue for the OnePlus. By this, we can also try new custom fonts. We have the new app animation speeds, setting it to fast and the 90Hz display makes the user experience so smoother, no lags, no jitters. But some guys didn't like this option, but many of guys like the new animations. Personally, I loved it. This time, we get the full control over the haptics and vibrations. You can set the vibration and haptic intensity, kind of vibration pattern you want when you receive a call. You can also sync the vibration according to the ringtone, but this is limited to system ringtones. The fingerprint animation song is so satisfying that you'll love it. Newly added game mode in direct at your tuner to have better sound experience while gaming. And finally, new design of notifications. There are plenty of other options and features which we'll be talking about in the review video. Don't worry, I'll also add battery drain, performance, BGMI performance, heating, if any bugs or glitches and make a perfect review video. And for that to happen, 100 likes on this video and I'll be making a video on it. Just kidding guys. Anyways, I'm going to make it. Till then, don't rush to update your phone. Hope you all guys remember the initial days of Oxynos 11. Just subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon and get notified when the review video uploads on our channel. Also, join our telegram discussion group for news, updates regarding OnePlus Nord. More than 400 people are waiting to talk to you guys. That's it for this video guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>